No more newbie here. Have you ever had a PS4 Share Factory video recorded but there's some bits on there that you prefer not to show on the uploaded video and it's not something that you can edit out or split out of the video in total. So things like a pop-up request um, for an invitation for a game or a level up that you want to hide or you want to hide your joy partner's name or who eliminated you or anything like that and you can't just split it out of the video then this video is here to help you with options on blurring or how to kind of hide it within your video that you need to still keep. So if you're new to the channel this channel gives you share factory uh, tutorials and PS4 tutorials and tips and trips on growing your YouTube channel. So if you haven't already please subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future videos like this. Okay, so this video was actually suggested by JDude9, so thanks for the suggestion for this video. Um, JDude9 wanted to be able to blur things out of his gameplay, so we talked about examples of uh, hiding notifications and all that. So I've created a video um, and I've created my own notification label that you can see on the left here because for some reason I couldn't find any. I don't think I've just not been playing that much and I haven't got any clips of anything where it pops up. So we just created that just as an example. But this will be all of the methods that we show you can be used on anything. So whether it's a gun on the ground or a level up that's on the screen or anything like that, it's all the same. So you can use it exactly the same on your videos as well. So we're going to the first method which is simply going into your track and we're just going to split the track up. So we're going to imagine it's just about to pop up. So we're going to split the track there and we're going to split it again imagining it goes away in a second. So I'm just going to split it here and then this middle part here is the bit that we're going to try and hide the notification sign on. So what we can do is push the cross button and go to add overlay and we just want to find a text which has a reasonable size uh, thickness to the letter and we're just going to choose this one here and then if we just click on the letter I and on this one I'm using a capital I and then confirm it and then we want to transform it so that we can turn it on its side and increase the size of it and we can just move it over the top of what we want to hide. Now this, like all of these um, options that we have, none of them are ideal because Share Factory doesn't have an option just to blur something, a section out. It's all or nothing on a lot of it. So these are sort of methods that I'm kind of tweaking. None of them are ideal, but it might help you achieve the goal rather than lose the clip completely. So what we're doing is we're just moving this. We're going to change the text duration so it's for the whole of the clip that we've split out. We've put it over the top of the notification. You can change the opacity so that it slightly see through, but obviously that then does show what you want to see. But if you wanted to hide a name or something specific that's private, then you could just um, change the opacity all the way up like that. So totally up to you how you want to do it but this is an option for hiding notifications if you didn't want to show the name okay so the there are a few other things you can do you could go to add filter and what you could do is go to blur which is on all filters blur and that will give a slight blur so this would probably work well in montages if you had something you wanted to um, hide because a lot of people put blur on montages so you can just bring the radius all the way up so that it blurs you can't see what it says on that bit now and you could just let it play out and if it's part of a montage where there's other effects it could well work okay this is another clip where there's a pop-up which is that bit on the top left hand corner where it says level uh, eliminated uh, what is it I can't even see what it says but it's um it's a level um, up that we've got here so we could just do exactly the same as what we did just split it just before it starts and then we we'll split it just after it disappears and then we can show you another example of how you can kind of get rid of the things that you don't want in your screen so I know this isn't going to be used but by a lot of people but if you have been wondering these are a couple of options that you could use and if you're finding any use for this do hit the like button for me uh, it'd be great to get to 20 likes on this one if possible okay so what we're going to do is we're on this one we're going to go to add overlay and we're going to go into imported imported images now if you haven't seen my how to import images as screenshots or screenshots as images then uh, video do check that out i'll put a link in the description and above now 
but this is a, what you could do is you could highlight or promote another video within your video that you're uploading and say look you know join this you know here's a video that you might be of interest in you might want to know how to add 3d text to your share factory videos and you can make it so that it fades in and fades out but what you do is put it over the top of what you want to hide and that makes it a little bit of a on purpose that you've put it there and it's something that's going to hide what you don't want people to see so certainly an option that you could look at now what i have put fade in and fade out to make it look a bit more professional on this one so i would recommend you do the same but the uh, mistake on this one is we probably should have clipped or split the clip a little bit earlier to allow for the fade in and fade out because you'll see that um, as we play through it the actual fade in and fade out allows what we're trying to hide to show a little bit so what you what i'll do on this one is i'll just get rid of the fade in and fade out just to show and um, that it's as we want it hiding what we want but i would recommend fading in and fading out just to um, make it look as if it's on purpose okay so that's another option to use and the next option is we're going to use as exactly the same you're going to see something pop up on the screen again i think it's another level up or um, a level completed or something and so we're going to see if we can get rid of that as well so on this one what we're going to do is we're not going to blur or put uh, overlay over the top we're going to go to add layout and we're going to go down to this one here, square right. And what it does is it puts a black screen on the left hand side, which is where the pop up occurred. Now, obviously, this is hiding quite a lot of your gameplay, but you could use it to your advantage and put some text in there to say, you know, please subscribe or please like the video or, you know, whatever it is that you want to put as a message. And again, it could be hiding what you want to, but it's going to give an option for um you know giving a message as well so it's kind of making the best of a bad situation in a way if that makes any sense so i hope that is of use and actually that is something that you can use in your videos generally if there's nothing particularly happening you could have a quick break probably not as long as this clip because it's far too long to have that message on there for but that's another way of hiding what you want to and um, make it look as if it's on purpose by putting a message in there as well Okay, so moving on to the next option, we've got another um, part that we want to hide here. And what we're going to do is we're going to just go into the section, you'll just get this kill there. So we'll let that happen. And then we go into, we push the cross button. And what we press is we go into add layout. So we press cross to go add layout, same as we did before. But this time we're going into vignette layouts and blur vignette. And what this screen does is blurs the outside of the screen. So it allows the inside circle in effect to be clear, but the outside's all blurry. And we can push cross, oh, sorry, square, and go to edit layout, and we can bring the intensity down. You see that gets clearer and clearer as we go to the left, and more blurry on the outside as we go to the right. So you can play about with it. So if you look at the weapons down on the left hand, uh, right hand side, you can see that's all blurred out. The map is all blurred out. The more we go to the right, it gets more and more blurry. And that's another option for if you've got something you want to hide around the outside of the screen, then you could always do that. And again, if it's in a montage, it looks perfectly at home to be in a montage. And you can increase the intensity if you wanted to. So um, there are loads of other videos on Share Factory tips and tricks in the playlist. So do check them out in the playlist on the channel. I'll put a link in the description as well. So check out all of those videos. There's some YouTube series videos that have just started. Check those out as well to improve your channel. Um, there's some videos that are on the screen now being recommended to you. If you haven't seen them, do check them out. And uh, I hope it's been of use. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. And hit the like button if you found any use and thanks very much for watching and bye